Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are gonna be talking a little bit about a new workout service that I've been using and that I've learned a lot about and I wanted to share with you because I thought that it's a really interesting alternative if you're trying to try something new in your workout routine. And I know that I recently mentioned this in my holiday favorite, no. That, that video doesn't exist. I recently mentioned this in my like e-gift ideas for the holidays. So the service that I wanna tell you all about today is ClassPass. And what this is, is sort of an, a membership to all the gyms that decide that they wanna partner with ClassPass. I just wanted to dive a little deeper and share with you my experience with ClassPass, present to you both an alternative and a competitor, and sort of let you decide. If this is something that you've been thinking about, maybe I can shed some light on the prices, the benefits, the pros, the cons, anyway. Okay, we'll just hop into it so there's so much construction happening let's start with the basics of pricing so class pass has three different plans you can purchase a three class plan for thirty dollars a five class plan per month is what these are for for fifty dollars and then a ten class plan for a hundred and five dollars and I know what you're thinking you're like holy crap that's so expensive but again you're not just going to one gym you can go to a, a bunch of different gyms that partner with the class pass service now unfortunately they got rid of their unlimited class option which I think is sort of dumb maybe because it was really expensive I do think that that's a little bit of a con because oftentimes people do want to work out more than ten times per month or five times per month or three times per month I personally pay for the five class per month option because I need to be utilizing my gym that I'm paying for through my apartment complex so this is sort of pushing me to go to fun classes you know intermittently when I'm still using my at-home gym now that we've gone through pricing I wanted to let you know that there there are limits to the number of times that you can actually visit each studio because they don't they don't want you using it like a really cheap gym membership to each individual gym. So they do limit your classes. So if you have like the three class plan, then you can only go to a gym one time, I believe, per month. And then if you have the five class plan, you can only go to a gym up to two times per month. And if you have the 10 class plan, you can only go to one particular gym three times per month. So they really do limit you in that respect. And it stinks because you really find your favorite places to go but you know you can always purchase additional credits which I'll get into in a second when I explain their new pricing system so class pass recently just restructured their pricing system and it's no longer paying per classes because they have a very wide variety of classes that you can take so there are some that you're going to this like super intense cardio class with a trainer loud music fun but then also you can just go to a normal gym so if you maybe don't have an apartment gym and you just want to go run on a treadmill or something you can reserve a spot at a gym and just go use gym equipment without being instructed in a class so class pass sort of sat down and thought you know I don't really think that those two things are equal I think that going to a gym is not getting the same benefit and value as going to you know a specialized gym with an instructor so they came up with this credit system and I know that it's in its beta stages right now and Dallas happens to be one of the cities that's going through this beta program so now what they do is issue credits and for whatever reason they decided to do the credit system on like multiples of seven that's the weirdest multiple but whatever so now you can buy like 21 credits or three classes for thirty dollars a month 35 credits or five classes for fifty dollars a month or fifty five dollars a month they actually just increased the price which is super unfortunate and then for the 10 class it's 105 dollars for the 10 classes or 70 credits per month what they've done now is they've restructured what each class is worth so the classes that i really like to go to like different cycling classes and the big like super cardio strength training classes those are all worth seven credits which is your max number of credits per class but if i just wanted to go to a basic gym that might only be three credits so if you're somebody who wants to just go to a basic gym you could actually really extend the life of your credits because they cost so much less each time that you go whereas for me i'm pretty much sticking with the same plan because the app gets really smart and it starts noticing, okay, Maggie goes to a ton of cycling classes, so these are obviously top rated for her. So we're gonna make those seven credit classes and then we're gonna knock down these other types of workouts because she's not going to those. So it would behoove you to sort of spice up the workout once you even get class pass and do something different to really extend the life of your credits. 
this price will auto renew monthly and they have it very clearly stated in the account settings portion of their website when your billing cycle starts over and how many classes you have left so you can constantly track it let's say you really love this service and you want to keep using it that's awesome definitely keep doing that but let's say for whatever reason you just don't have the money to spend fifty dollars per month and this happens you can go in and set your account to be on hold so what you do is pay ten dollars and they issue you one class to use for that month so that you're actually getting something for your money you're not just paying them ten dollars to keep your account open they have a cancellation policy but once you cancel your account it actually charges you seventy nine dollars to reactivate your account so if there's any question that you might want to renew that subscription don't cancel it because you're going to end up paying an arm and a leg to do so to reactivate it those are the major like account cancellation and hold cost but let's say that you schedule a class and you want to go on wednesday to this four o'clock class and all of a sudden something comes up and you can no longer make the class they do charge you if you cancel too late or if you don't show up to a class so you have to sort of know your plans ahead of time in order to really use this service without having all of these like bogus fees being charged to you but if you cancel a class within 12 hours of that workout class you're actually charged a $15 fee if you forget to cancel it and you just totally forget about your class and don't show up then you're charged $20 I think that these are sort of outrageous I mean I understand that these gems are being nice and partnering with class pass but that is just absurd that you're paying like almost the price of an entire month's membership with ClassPass if you forget to go to one class or forget to cancel within 12 hours. So my biggest advice is unless you just know that you're totally free for a certain amount of hours, just schedule your class the day of when you're certain that you can go to avoid any of those late fees or no-show fees. Something to note though is that these classes do not roll over per month you will have to use them up before the next billing cycle or you're going to lose the credits and lose out on that money that you paid. So definitely go if you're going to use this service. Now traveling is not really an excuse and especially with ClassPass because they do allow you to have a home city where most of your classes happen and it's important that you set your home city correctly because each city sort of charges different rates, which I really don't like about ClassPass. You can set a flex city as well as your home city. So if you're traveling somewhere constantly or you're traveling somewhere once and they have studios that partner with ClassPass, you can still use your workout credits when you're out of town. And this is where having ClassPass over a traditional gym membership that's not necessarily nationally renowned really really comes in handy because you can still work out and go do fun things and try something new even when you're traveling for work or for school or whatever you don't have to think twice about it you can just schedule your class like you would anywhere else and move on with your workout routine oh yeah class pass is available in over 40 cities so it has this huge range so wherever you're traveling it's likely that class pass will be available there unless you're maybe in like remote cities in you know Montana. Now I want to jump in and compare and contrast this service to Studio Hop. This is really the only direct competitor with ClassPass right now and they're only offered in you know a really small number of cities. So if you are at Dallas, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, or New Orleans resident, you are eligible to sign up for Studio Hop. Same exact concept as ClassPass, but with a bit more limitation, mostly because of the so it has so few number of cities that it's available in. The pricing differences really come in their bundles. Just like ClassPass only offers a three, five, or 10 month membership, you can actually get a four, eight, or unlimited class membership with Studio Hop. So four classes per month will cost you $50 which is more expensive than the five class option for $50 with ClassPass. The A class option is gonna cost you $110, and the unlimited option is gonna cost you $135 per month. That is very expensive. While unlimited is awesome and it allows you to visit studios up to five times per month, $135 is just a lot. Like I might as well go out and buy some gym equipment if I'm gonna be spending that much per month, you know? I don't know, that just seems like a lot. But if that's in your budget and you can afford that, then by all means, I, this could be a really good option for you since ClassPass does not offer that unlimited option anymore. It's ClassPass right now is running a two week free trial. So you can go in and you can get three classes for free in the trial. Well, there's no trial run with Studio Hop. They say, you know, sign up for a package or get out. So the lowest you know bundle that they offer is the $50 for four classes per month option. So that is a difference right there. 
as well as you know the much fewer cities that Studio Hop is actually available in. There is a little bit difference in the cancellation and late fees. So let's say they both have the policy where you must cancel a class within 12 hours of the actual class time. And if you fail to do that on class pass, remember we talked about it's 15 if you're late, 20 if you don't show up. For Studio Hop, it's actually 12 if you're late and 15 if you don't show up. So they ease up a little bit on the price of those fees, but overall their service is more expensive. So Another difference is the price to hold and reactivate an account. Remember for ClassPass, it was $10 to put your account on hold and you're credited one class to use for that month. So you're actually getting something for your money and then it costs $79 to reactivate that account once it's canceled. In contrast, Studio Hop charges $7 per month to put your account on hold, but it does not give you a class to use. You're simply paying the Studio Hop company seven bucks to keep your account on hold. If you cancel and wanna reactivate, they only charge you $30. I think it's stupid that these people are charging reactivation fees in general because it costs them nothing, but I guess it's just incentive for you to stay subscribed and pay them that 10 to $7 per month. I don't know, $80 and $30 just seems like a lot. That's an entire month's worth of services on their platform. I don't know. It's just, I really don't like that about both of the services, but they both have the same con, so you know, pick your poison, I guess. So yeah, that pretty much is the difference between the two direct competitors, ClassPass and Studio Hop. But let's say that, you know, 30 or 50 or $135 is just way out of your budget for a workout option. I would do wanna recommend Daily Burn to you. This is something that I did all through grad school. It Like when I was taking the CPA, I was so stressed out and I needed to like have something that I could really get that energy out with. And so I subscribed to Daily Burn. This only costs $14.95 per month, you get access to over 600 different online workout classes. So you can do this from the comfort of your home. You don't have to drive to a studio. It's a lot less germy. Gyms can be really, really germy when you're sharing the equipment, especially in the, these wintertime months when people are sniffly and wiping their noses and we're sweating and stuff on all the equipment. So this is a a lot more sanitary way to work out, I suppose. The only con is that some of the workout plans that they have really require some equipment that you'll have to go out and buy to make it worth it. That is sort of an advantage with Class Pass and Studio Hop. It's that you're going to the gym and using their equipment. It's nothing expected of you except for to just show up and bring your water bottle. Whereas with Daily Burn, it's an at-home online workout system. So you have to have the space in order to work out at home. And depending on the plan that you choose, they have no equipment plans offered on their website, but a lot of their really effective and good plans require a simple set of hand weights or maybe a yoga mat or something along those lines. I ended up just getting really creative and using like textbooks sometimes, but I did end up just purchasing like a set of three different size hand weights to use. And I found that to be pretty much all that I needed. Because it's an online streaming service, no limitations on the number of workouts that you can do per day or per month or per week. You can do it on your own time. You know, you're not subject to going to this class time. You're not gonna have any sort of cancellation or no-show fees. But that is sort of a con because when you sign up and I have this monetary like consequence on me, if I don't show up, it really motivates me to go to the gym. Whereas with Daily Burn, if I was feeling like, oh, I don't really wanna work out today, you can justify anything to stay in your bed and not work out because you're not losing anything if you don't. Yeah, Daily Burn has some really, really awesome options. I highly recommend it to you if you're just starting to work out. This is not to say that Daily Burn is not hard. They have some really, really intense workout plans that could even be perfect for you to take to your apartment gym and do. For those of you that are really intense, there's still options for you available without having to go to a gym. If you're interested in signing up for any of these services, I have a link below for ClassPass that will actually get you $40 off of your first month. And then there's also a link for Studio Hop and Daily Burn below. I hope that these options were something new for you that you learned a little bit. If you did, then please give this video a like. Share with me in the comments below your experience. Have you tried Daily Burn, Studio Hop, or ClassPass? And if you wanna learn more about different services or products, stick around, subscribe. That's what my channel is all about. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.